and the chequered flag just a couple of moments away out of the curve of Alboreto and over towards the line as tight as you like. Punju goes sixth fastest with that attempt. Chequered flag comes out oh. then in session. And how wide do you want? That's an invalidation of lap from Matty D13, who therefore will not improve on that time. Blackmere improves to 20.4 and stays in 18th position with that. So now it's down to unstop Rob and Dragonflies to find the opportunity. It's 1.7 seconds to leapfrog Yorpa and Arsenal on the bubble at this point. Here goes Unstop Rob. P4, no doubt. He's going to find himself in Q2 without any trouble. So now Arsenal, who is on the outside looking in, sees that Dragonflies can't improve and he just needs to find two tenths of a second to leap from yours sincerely, who's going to need a flying lap here that's going to put him up. But he's down in the pit. So this is the difference. It's either him or yours sincerely. It's yours sincerely who goes out because Arsenal moves into 10. Yeah, great lap there from Arsenal when all the pressure was on right at the end. He managed to deliver. Disappointing there for Yorpa. It looks like he either derated or because he invalidated on the first one, had to go for that second lap. Might have potentially just run out of fuel at the line. And that, of course, has cost him a very strong competitive driver out in Q1 and a bit of a disappointment for him. Matty D was looking strong in his lap and then going into that final corner, pushed too early. He got himself out wide. He invalidated right on the exit of the final corner. And that, unfortunately is Matty D at the bottom of the field, down in 20th position. And uh, he is going to be joining Blackmere, Dragonflies, Yorpa, and yours sincerely on the sidelines, watching everybody else for the next 30 minutes of this qualifying session. Meraki will desperately need to find this time to move on forward. Remember, he's got third in the championship to think about against Tiamat Marduk, and he goes fast on a 19.2. That's perfect. Then in terms of what he was hoping for, that will move him up to exactly where he needs. Mr. Dale, you'd feel now, is on the bubble. Tom on the wrong side of Lady Luck with 13 seconds. Punju will now make his way over the line. And he goes eighth out there, which knocks Mr. Dale down. So now it's Tom, 97, in trouble. But there's three tenths of a second to keep in mind as they go through. M Sky Z might feel he's safe, but here is Mr. Dale, hoping that his lap time is going to be good enough as the checkered flag is out here in Q2. And Mr. Dale goes third. Tom, 97, is out in Q2. F1 Scott can't do enough he's stuck down on a 19.7 and that's not good enough dark viper oh wrong side of lady luck goes there 11 tom goes fastest and knocks punju out of q2 but punju does technically still have one lap left so now it's down to you arsenal have you got enough to find four tenths of a second to leapfrog up and gain over ratin chai who's on the bubble no only 11th that time goes with a 19.5. A dramatic Q2, which sees some big names on the wrong side. And the gamble doesn't pay off for Tom97. No, Tom97, unfortunately, risked it. And it did look close. Like He was down in seventh position. It didn't look safe. Punju currently on a lap at the moment. But uh, he's just on an in-lap as he's making his way. Uh, becoming the fastest lawnmower in Italy that you have ever seen mowing that grass and doing a very fine job of it as well. But yeah, I said it was a risk and it did look risky. Seven position calling that shot and I just don't think it was worth it or maybe Tom97 just went like a little bit too late and didn't have enough time to get back in and go for another run so he had to unfortunately sit out of that one. But it is going to be Arsenal, Punju, Dark Viper, Tom97 and F1 Scott out of this session. Dark Viper would have been hoping the Dragonflies was able to make it through into Q2 with him as maybe they could have worked together, get that slipstream and maybe find themselves in that top 10. But Tiamat Marduk will scrape through into the top 10 but as he's retired, I think that means he is definitely going to be starting at the back of the field as Meraki is currently ahead of him. Tom though, he's been away for a bit but he's laying down that gauntlet with a P1 in qualifying, a 19.1. He's back and he's ready to show a bit of business. Making his way around then the final corner of the Curva Alboreto and making that launch over towards the line. The benchmark set is a 20.1. Yeah, strong lap there from Razan Shai. We've got Zafso coming through the final corner now. Can it be beaten? 
and it can. 20.1. Obviously, we've seen a lot faster lap times. So these are the drivers who did not have a set of tyres that they could hold on to in the qualifying session. M Sky Z moves up into second position. Unstop Rob with an 18.8. Wow. What a lap to start Q3 with. He's called Unstop Rob, but I think everyone's going to try and stop him at that point if he can put a time like that down on the board. We have not seen anybody today jump inside of 119.2. M Sky Z's 19 flat, just decimated by Unstop Rob's potential. Meraki right now out there on a flying lap, and he locks one up into the curve of Alboreto, the parabolic curve that it is, and hoping that his time is going to be somewhat represented by that. A 19-4 by him puts him third, net eight. Yeah, Maraki up into third position there. Nice lap. What about Nagera? What can he do? He's always been very strong in qualifying. He'll come down to the final corner, come down to the line. One Mercedes is on the front at the moment. Will it be a front row for both of them? Not quite. It's M Sky Z that is splitting those two right now. Tom was strongest in Q2 and he's invalidated at the moment. So will not go quicker. It's just left up to Mr. Dale, who will come around the final corner, down to the line. What can he do in this Q3 session? It's up to sixth position. It's a 19.8 and that is looking good on a used set of soft tires. And have a new set available to him at the end. He'll be looking to go even faster further up through the field. Zafso into the final sector now for the last few laps. Oh, and he's invalidated. So it's not going to be an improvement for Zafso, but it could be for his teammate Tom and maybe Meraki, who's right behind him. Well, Meraki now is hoping that six tenths of a second is there. He's got a five second grid place penalty, sorry, a five place grid place penalty. He is hoping that he can get at best sixth position on the grid with this time, knowing that Tiamat Marduk must start from the back. Meraki comes over towards the line. He goes second on a 19 flat and a thousandth in the back pocket. And Tom goes fourth fastest with his lap time. Unstop Rob can't improve. M Sky Z can't improve out there. So now it's Nagera, Rasin Chayenko, Mr. Dale goes fifth fastest on a 19.18 out there. No time improvement for Nagera. His lap is invalidated so it's down to you Dak Guy Vince if you can improve out there on time Unstop Rob's 18-8 looks nigh on unstoppable at this point Dak Guy Vince comes to the line in seventh Unstop Rob has your last pole of the season congratulations Unstop Rob will be starting this race from the front of the grid and alongside him is going to be M Sky Z who has really struggled with this game so far this season but this time it was enough to get himself up into third place, which will promote him to second thanks to that penalty for Meraki. He'll be very thrilled with that. Tom, on his return, will be starting on the second row alongside Mr. Dale, who's going to be qualifying in or starting this race from fourth position thanks to that penalty to Meraki. And that is an incredible job there from Mr. Dale. He's going to be very, very happy with that one. As we are moving ever closer to the start of this race. And 53 laps, which will get itself underway right now. M Sky Z with a little bit of wheel spin off for the start, but that's all right. Unstop Rob will be unchallenged. Nagera going hard to the inside. Watch out to Loretta Filo for troubles that find themselves in play. And we can definitely sense that drivers are there. There's a spin in the middle. One of the Aston Martins goes around, and it's a bottleneck there at turn two and a virtual safety car is called immediately Arsenault finding himself pretty much backwards 10 seconds for F1 Scott yeah he's going to be pushing past he's got past Meraki and now he's going to be hunting down that guy Vince Mr. Dale Unstop Rob and M Sky Z who are all scrapping they're two by two it's like Noah's Ark here around Monza around the first corner but again still staying in position in terms of two Red Bull drivers but that guy Vince is bored of this he wants to get a move on he's fed up at sitting behind uh, Mr. Dale his teammate he's like let me have a go I'll show you how it's done I'm going to get myself into the lead now as Dale just gets on oh! the grass and round he goes just a little bit too wide and that's going to be as well as two other drivers get caught up with each other it's all kicking off on lap seven of this Italian Grand Prix 
a race of nine up at the front compared to everyone else. We take a look on board with Yorpa's perspective now as it's side by side. There goes Unstop Rob to the lead. Yorpa's trying to find a way through. They're not. They're three wide in towards turn one. Unstop Rob takes the race lead away and M Sky Z desperately fighting around with Dakai Vince as now the kick sabers go together. Sliding down the inside. Who's in? One, two, three, four. Wow, it's Yorpa who chooses to stay out. Being in front, he wants an extra lap on his mediums. That's a big call at this stage of the race as everyone jumps in. Rasin Chai stays out. Nagera stays out as Nagera dives through now on the inside. Where is this driver, Safsho, going to come out by comparison of all those? Three second time penalty for Punju for corner cuts as he now goes through. Now, how many places did you gain by being on the wet weather tyres a lap early coming out of the pits? What an inspired call by Safsho. He might get the lot. Yep, yeah, that's a great call from Safsho. He's moved up into right behind Unstop Rob, who was the leader of the train. So you've got to say for drivers like Yorpa, Razin Shai, uh, Nagera, and Tom97, they've made the wrong call because they're going to be losing a heap of time around this circuit right now as it just continues to get worse and worse and benefit those intermediate tyres. Still some great battling here as Safsho tries to put himself in. Tom, his teammate, jumps up on the scene with Unstop Rob. They've given that guy, Vince, 1.2 seconds here at the front. They are starting to battle amongst themselves. Tom finds himself a way through on his teammate and Unstop Rob just about holds it together here on lap 16 of 53. He manages to hold that second, but look at the way he took the Della Roggia. He brings that gap down by two tenths to one second. Yep, and looking for that way through to try and get that pass. He has unlocked it through that final corner, the curve at Alvaretto, and on to this 19th lap of the race. Unstop Rob, looking very much like his namesake. Unstoppable on the brakes on the inside. That guy Vince fights him every single stage of the way. What happened the last time a Red Bull and a Mercedes fought through that section of road about three years ago? They're a lot cleaner than them, but almost in the grass in the background goes Yorpa, but that is pretty much perfect. Now look out, because here comes Tom, hoping that he's got an angle down to the inside into the Della Roggia to get this move sorted and again the inside for that guy Vince who's got the widest car this side of Milan and around the outside Tom gets the place and up into second position the touch back on the wet tires for just a brief moment Hayden could you maybe read it as the wet tires are effectively a wet weather hard compared to the intermediates or wet weather soft yeah, it's going to be a very, very tall ordeal. But look at now how it looks at the front because Unstop Rob's got the launch on Tom. And suddenly Yorpa tries to thread the needle down the inside. Tom sees everybody fly by. Yorpa trying to go with a third to first out of the heavens. And he gets it. Little bit of tire to tire. Oh, they're getting close. Right now, heading towards the Biasano. And Yorpa gets the job done and moves himself into the race lead on lap 22. Excellent car control from Yorpa. He now leads and has all of those three behind. Rob, Tom and Vince as he slides. The halfway stage as they run through into Ascari and now start thinking about whether it is time, whether they've got enough confidence underneath them to go onto a drier tyre with both of the harsh drivers and Dragonflies making stops. Arseno is also going to come in and get his tyres changed. But who's going to be the first of the leaders to really prod and poke? That guy Vince at 1.2 seconds might start thinking about whether that's good. In comes your race leader. Yorper is into the pits. He takes the, uh, the speed limiter out so nobody knows how quick they can go in. One, two, three, and four all diving in. Zafso, Tiamat Marduk, and the Gera stay out. Yeah, it made sense from Zafso because otherwise he would have had to double stack behind Tom. Nagera staying out again makes sense because of Unstop Rob. But for Tiamat Marduk, he thinks that it is better to go for that extra lap. With that DRS enabled right now, it might have been the perfect lap to box when Yorpa, Unstop Rob, and that guy Vince have come into it. We'll find out what happens with this lot when they go around the track. As Matty D is retired, he's out, and it's a safety car. So scrap all of that. It's worked out fantastically for Zafso Nagera and the rest of them who have stayed out. And let's see what happened to Matty D. If we can find his car out on track. Into Ascari. Uh, into Ascari. Yeah, the exit. You can just see a tire on the exit to the right-hand side. And Matty D 
will no longer be taking part in the rest of this race. But that's worked out perfectly for the top four. But TMM Marduk looking like he could potentially fight for a win now. He's not technically following the safety car. One of the little perks that's there. Now, that's a very late oh my call. God, yes. The safety car in this lap. So that's a huge backup from Yorpa. Everyone's got to be switched on here because he has got to let that go. That was at the 11th hour in the 59th minute. Yorpa will now let them all go. Who managed to get caught up in all of that? It looks like now it's going to be a Texas-style scramble over towards turn one. A bit of two wide, even three wide in towards the Retifilo in the middle with Nagera and Co. all going through. And it looks like Meraki and Tom continue on their run. And suddenly Meraki and Tiamat Marduk together for third in the championship being dealt with at this point. Tiamat Marduk trying to force away. Because it means, of course, they could not overtake on that lap. As Mr. Dale comes into pit lane, he's fed up with his season. And uh, that pretty much sums up season seven for Mr. Dale. And then hope that you have enough battery down this straight on the run to Ascari. Safso's got a fantastic exit. Might potentially go for it now on Unstop Rob, who's going to have to move to the inside line. And Zafso, I said P2's even better. He's got it. He's got past Unstop Rob. And now it's up to Zafso. And you can afford to be passive if you're in P2 because you just work together with the leader. It doesn't have to be an aggressive move. It just has to be, okay, I've got the DRS. I'll get you now. Now down the run to a scurry. You have the DRS. You get me back and I'll slot back in P2. So this could work out very nicely for Zafso to try and fight for this race win. As uh, Tom drops off behind that guy Vince and Zafso potentially going to move into the lead. But here comes on Stop Rob. This is brilliant. Three wide. Heading to the Retifilo. Unstop Rob with the power move. Going to the point and leading now with six laps remaining here at Monza. Unstop Rob does not want to be denied his destiny of a first Creator Series victory. They certainly are. Look at this. Two times in the grass by Safjo. Trying to get the pass done. Yorpa locks it up. But he, can he get it sorted through turn two? He'll have drive off the exit. He will. Safjo with a daredevil move that Ryan Hunter Ray would be proud of. He'll still lose out on the power and unstop Rob. We'll find his way through. And here comes Tom 97 to the Della Rogia to try and find his pass on the inside line. And he won't get there. Well, it's all down to here. They have raced 52 laps through rain and shine to get what they want. Defensive to the inside. Is he trying to bait the overtake? Oh, he was trying to play DRS chicken with Unstop Rob. Trying to find that angle. A brave, bold call. But I'm not sure Yorpers pulled this one off to give himself defence as they run on through. And now they will fan three wide onto the final lap. They engulf Yorpa. Unstop Rob versus Tom 97. Tom down the inside. Little bit of argy bargy. And the door gets thrown open. But here comes Yorpa back. And now he'll get drive on the outside. Now through the Biasano. There is a chance that Unstop Rob is not going to be stopped. But Yorpa, who's only got a third place this season, wants his first win as well. And there, Tom 97 sees Unstop Rob now has one DRSO to try and hold. And that's the run through the Seraglio and up towards Ascari. It's held so brilliantly by the Mercedes driver who has been second on two occasions this season. Is this the heartbreak that he's hoping he can't get? Here goes Yorpa now who has been playing the Oracle so well in this one and takes the race lead. But there is still chances left and you have to sit down. A parabolica mistake, a mistake from Yorpa. And now through goes Tom 97 to seven. Second, three wide to Parabolica they go. And still, it's Unstop Rob trying to hold. Tom 97 has done this around the outside all day long. And over towards the line, Tom 97 breaks Unstop Rob's heart and wins. And Monza, what a race. Jake, take a breather. Take a breather because that was an incredible final few corners to this race. Oh, my God.